I need it, need it, need it. Hi, Nat. Good morning, Trini. You're in fine fettle this morning. I'm pushing myself there. It's like I, I want to go back to bed. So then what you've got to do when you want to go back to bed is say, no, baby. No, baby. That's right. All right. Wake yourself oh, up. Well, what are we going to do today? Should I pin it? Hold on. Yes. What are we going to do? We're going to do Tabata style workout, which oh means... Oh, my God. Something difficult to spell. Okay. <laughs> T-A-B-A-T-A. Tabata. Tabata style yes. workout. Yeah. S-T. And Tabata is traditionally done with cardio, but we're not going to do it all with cardio. We're going to use the timing method of it, which Ooh. is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four minutes. So we're going to have different exercises for four minutes, 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds of recovery for four minutes. Okay. All right, darling. Great. Okay, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. right. Let's get started. Oh, today you will need... You will need a chair as well, because we're going to be doing some tricep dips. Okay. So you need a chair and your mat, maybe some books for today's workout for a little something extra. Uh, and then we're going to get started. What are we doing first? Okay, we're going to do the mobility first. Yeah. So come over to your mat. Yeah. Let's go into your cat dog stretch. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, deep breath in, flex. Exhale, extend, draw the shoulders down. So we're gonna wake up the spine. And then taking a really deep breath. Now's the time you can focus on your breath. If you've just woken up, you want to increase that oxygen CO2 exchange. Then you're gonna to come to your neutral spine. Bring your hip to the, towards your right shoulder, look to your right, and then your, the left side of your hip to your left shoulder, look to your left. So as if you're wagging your tail, if, you're, if you were a dog, you're wagging your tail. And then you're going to combine both those movements, so you're creating circles with the spine. You may even get a little bit of cracking, and that's fine. <clears throat> you're just going to increase the mobility if that happens. And reversing the circle. And come into your neutral spine. I need to bring your right foot forwards. That's it. Lift the back leg so you're in a nice deep lunge. And you're going to reach your right arm up to the sky with your breath. And then exhale, reach underneath your left arm. Inhale, rotate, reach up. And then exhale, reach under. So it's that lizard stretch that we like to do. Sorry, so I can't see what you're doing now. You're actually having, you're into it in a lunge. So your right foot is forwards, your left foot is back. So rather than the one out to the side, it's forwards. And then you're going to lift the knee. That's it. Bring your right foot forwards. So like this, Trini. So, you know, if you're, if you're about to do your hip flexor stretch, your right foot is on the ground. Your left knee is on the ground. Then you're going to lift your left knee and straighten the leg. So you know how I get you to do that one way you... Uh, so I got it like that, like a plank. Yeah, so you can start off in your plank and then bring your right foot forwards. Oh, I've got it, got it. Okay, perfect. So, that's it. Now lift the back knee, so that's off the ground. We're going to go for a big reach. And we're going to do five rotations on one side. Rotation. So rather, rather than alternating, you're going to stick to the same side and do five of those. So you reach up and under. Good, go for three more. Two. And last one on that side. Place your hand down, send your foot back, and then you need to switch to do the same on the other side. Right hand is down, deep breath in, reach that left arm up, and exhale, reach under that right arm. See if you can get that elbow down towards the ground. Inhale, reach, exhale, reach under three more times. And this kind of fires up the legs as well. Two more. And your final one. You're gonna place the hand down, send your foot back so you're in a high plank. And you're gonna keep your hips tucked in, upper mid back lifted, you're gonna hold the high plank for 10 seconds. Just for 10 seconds. 
So you're firing up that upper body. That's it. Holding for another six. For four, three, two, one, and stop. You're gonna bring those knees down. I want you to line your back. And we're gonna get started with the first to bust because it will kind of warm us up at the same time. So I want you to lie down on your back. We're going to do 20 seconds of bicycle crunches. So you're going to lift your chest, lift your legs into tabletop, extend your right leg, rotate towards your left knee, and then rotate towards your right knee. So it's right arm towards left knee, left arm to right knee. And you're going to go from side to side for 20 seconds. And then you're going to take a rest. And then we're, going to, we're supersetting this with another exercise, another ab exercise. So there's two different exercises that we are now doing for four minutes. So we're going to fatigue those abdominals. You're here for another two, one. Rest for 10 seconds. First round feels easy. It's only 20 seconds, but trust me, it builds up. Okay. Partial crunches. I want you to lift your chest, hold for a second. Head back down, lift, lower, lift, lower, belly button drawn down. Imagine there is a, a cord pulling you from the top of your chest, lifting and lowering, really getting those abs fired up. We're here for another three seconds, then 10 seconds rest. One more, lift, head back down, rest for 10 seconds. Really make the most of this rest, deep breaths. We're about to go into bicycles in three, two, one. Lift your chest, lift your legs, Rotate from one side to the other. So now we're bringing in lower abdominals as well as obliques. Elbows nice and wide. Really challenging the stomach, the side of the stomach. Five seconds left. Inhaling as you come to the center. And stop. 10 seconds recovery. Then we're back to partial crunches. How are those abs feeling? They're feeling fine. Good. Let's go. 10, 20 seconds. Little partial crunches, you lift and lower, lift and lower. This is where you'll probably start to feel that lactic acid build up. This is when it's gonna to start to get a little spicy. You've got five seconds and then a 10 second rest. Two, one, rest for 10 seconds. And then we're back into bicycles and we're halfway through the Tabata. Three, two, one, bicycles. Lift that chest, lift the legs. Rotate from side to side. So we're really, really lengthening that leg that is reaching forwards. Five seconds left of this one. Two, one, rest for 10 seconds. Oh, starting to feel warm. Five seconds, three, two, one, partial crunches, you lift your chest. And lower, lift, lower. Bring it. Work with that breath. You can always make this more difficult. Make sure you're engaging the pelvic floor. You're putting the belly button down. You've got another three, two, one. Rest for 10 seconds. We're about to go into our last minute of this round. Five seconds of recovery, then we're into bicycles in three, two, one, lift that chest, let's go. Bicycle crunches, rotate from side to side. Really challenging yourself, keep that chest lifted nice and high. Keep those elbows wide. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. 10 seconds recovery, then you're into your last one. Let me see, we're finishing on that partial crunch in two, in one, let's go lift, lower, lift, lower. If you want to make this one extra difficult for yourself, you could lift and hold and do little pulses up. So that's really going to fatigue the stomach. You're here for another five seconds, Trini. Go for three, two, one, rest. Okay, have a stretch. You're going to reach your arms above your head, reach your legs long, squeeze your butt. And then bring those arms down. I want you to turn over, push yourself up off the ground. Good. And we're going to come into 
plie squat holds with punches for that first exercise. And the second exercise is going to be a mountain climber. So either fast or you can lift your legs up slowly. But the first exercise, plie with little punches across the body. So it's gentle cardio. Legs are working, glutes are working, arms are working. There's a lot going on. And the core. Are you ready? First 20 yeah. seconds starts now. Let's go. Punching across the body, twisting that upper body so you're getting thoracic rotation. And obviously this is as difficult or as easy as you want to make it. Maybe you've got some small weights. You could hold one to two pound dumbbells. Sink nice and low. You want to keep that upper body lifted, hips tucked, butt engaged. And stop. Rest for a few seconds. We're going to get ready for that mountain climber or plank variation. Going in two, one. Let's go. So you can either lift the knees one by one, nice and slowly, or you can get going straight into that cardio. That cardio is going to be tough. You've just been doing those punches, which is gentle cardio. Three, two. One, stop. You're going to come up onto your feet. Shake it out. Roll those shoulders back. Deep breaths. Let's go into that plie. You're going to come straight into those punches. Hips tucked. Your hips are set in stone. Chest is upright. So with this... So just upper body moving. Yeah. Hip, your, your lower body is still. You're just punching across. So we're getting the shoulders spread out. It's great for toning the arms, this one. Two, one, stop. Have a rest for 10 seconds. Take some deep breaths. Because we're about to get into rhythm two of that plank. In two, in one, let's go. So you can either lift one knee at a time. If this is uncomfortable on your wrist, you can put your forearms on the sofa or on the ground. You can do a Spider-Man plank or just hold the plank. It's up to you. Three seconds, two, one, stop. Rest for 10. It's good to do something different, isn't it? This is great, I love this. How are we finding it, ladies and boys? I'm thinking it's gonna wake us up. Right, back into those plies, let's go. Little punches, we're holding the squat. Push those knees out to the side. Don't let them collapse in, you wanna push them out. Keep that upper body nice and lifted. You could go really fast with these punches to raise the heart rate. You're here for another three, two, one. Stop, step in, roll back those shoulders. Have a little rest, have a breather. We're going into that plank in three, in two, in one. Let's do this, you're gonna lift the knee up towards the chest, upper mid back lifted. You can take the pace up if you want to. We're halfway through that Sparta. Should be feeling nice and warm now. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Stop. Come up onto your feet. Last minute of Tabata. Last two exercises in this round. <sighs> okay, let's go. Clear, hold, knees out. Let's punch those arms, rotating the body. Shoulders are down, you're using your back muscles to recoil the arm. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Stop, step in, 10 seconds recovery. Let's see if we can do the, the bouncy mountain climb for the last round. Three, two, one. Hands down, knees lifted, lifting the knees up to the chest. 20 seconds, that's all it is. Really feeling that stomach work, the shoulders, the triceps. Perfect, Trini. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Stop. Come up onto your feet. Have a rest. Roll those shoulders back. Nice deep breaths. Okay. Have a sip of water because we're going to go into another four minute round. And you need your chair for this one. Chair? Yeah. And this one is going to be 
really powerful for the for the back of the arm for those bingo wings. Okay. <laughs> the bingo wing area. We're going to start off with tricep dips, and then we're going to go into push-ups. Okay. So fingertips are turned forwards, hands tucked into the side of the body, shoulders set back. Twenty seconds of tricep dips. Time starts now. So you're going to lower, press, lower and press. If your legs are straight, it's going to be harder because you're increasing the resistance. You have to lift more of your body weight. You're here for five seconds, for three, two, one, stop. Rest for 10 seconds, shake off those wrists, roll them around a couple of times. And we're going into a push-up with a little arm lift. So you lower, lift, push. You can do this on your knees or a full push-up. Let's go. Time starts now. That's it. And push. So now you're still using the triceps, but you're also using the front of the shoulder and the chest. So nice. Are you just going up and down? Yeah, but I'm going for a little arm lift between. So you lower, you lower all the way down. That's it, training. Perfect. And that's just going to help to release um, the front of the shoulders a little bit. And last one. Stop there. Come up onto your feet. Good. Have a little rest. Ten seconds. And in three seconds time, we're going back into those tricep dips. In two, in one, let's go 20 seconds, shoulders back, little dips, so lower and push. Inhale, exhale. There is an alternative to this if you have dodgy wrists, book or weights above your head, you lower and extend, keeping the elbows tucked into the side. You've got two, one, stop there, have a little rest, shake off those wrists. Roll them around. In three seconds, you're into those push ups. In two, in one, knees down, you're gonna lower, lift the arms, push. Get a little rest for your wrists as well when you're lifting those arms. So it's like a mini Superman. Nice. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Have a rest for a couple of seconds. Nice deep breaths. Five seconds and then we're into those tricep dips. If you do need to have to take a rest, you absolutely can do. Otherwise, let's go for it in two, one. Let's go. Lower and push. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can even elevate your feet on something where you have to lift almost your entire body weight with the backs of those arms. Two more. Last one. Stop for a second. Take off those wrists. God, getting tough now. Okay, let's go into those push-ups. You've got, then you've got two more rounds. You're gonna lower, lift those arms, push. Really feel like you are fatiguing those triceps. You can keep the elbows close to the body. That's going to work the back of the arm more. If your hands are further apart, it's going to work your chest a little bit more. Good. Going for two more. That's it, Chinny. One more push-up. Then 10 seconds recovery. And rest for 10 seconds. We're into our last two, two exercises of this round. One more of the tricep dips, one more of the push-ups. Going in three, two, one. Let's go, tricep dips, keeping those shoulders rolled back. Good. And remember, the further away your legs are, the harder it is. 10 seconds to go. That's it, really fantastic. Going for five seconds. Three, two, one, stop, rest for 10. Shake off those wrists, get ready for push-ups. Five seconds to go. And then your last 20 seconds of this 
exercise. Now, let's go. Lower that chest, lift the arms, push. We're going on to lower body after this. Upper body gets a little bit of recovery. Five seconds to go, that is all. Three, two, one, stop. Rest in child's pose. Little rest. Nice deep breath, and as you exhale, you're gonna slowly roll up the spine. Come up onto your feet, you can roll those shoulders back, shake off the wrists. You've got another 30 seconds of recovery, you can grab a sip of water, stay hydrated, and moving on to the lower body. Last 15 seconds. 90 degree angle at your knees and your hips. You're going to lift one arm, lift the other arm, or just hold the arms in front of your chest. After that, you stand up, you lift your hips, you tuck in, lift those hips, and go for little pulses up. So you're not lowering and lifting, you're just doing the pulse bit to really work the back of the leg. If you want to make the ski squat more difficult, you can hold some books on your lap or one of your dumbbells. Um, and it will be a bit more challenging. Okay, 20 seconds have started. The first 20 seconds of this four minute round. You can get in that shoulder mobility by lifting one arm, lifting the other arm. Good, and working with the breath. So this one is really good for challenging, for challenging your endurance muscles. And stop. Rest for 10 seconds. So that ski squat's pretty easy for 20 seconds. Tell me to put the lying down once. Work one again, darling. Sorry? Once lying down one again, because I was already starting to do the other one. Okay, so you're going to lift the hips, hold them in the air, and go for little pulses up. So it's just the pulse element um, of the glute. So it's that small range of motion, but it's more intense because you keep contracting those muscles. Really squeezing the bum. Three, two, one. Roll down, turn over, push yourself up. Now, if you want to make that ski squat more difficult, maybe you could get some books, get a big book, back against the wall, hold that ski squat. 20 seconds. Fantastic. 90 degrees at the hip and knees. So you've got the hip at 90, the knees at 90. Three seconds to go. Two, one, stop there. Get ready with the glute bridge. You're gonna lie down because you're starting in five seconds time. In three, two, lift and hold, little pulses up. You lower an inch, lift an inch. Really squeezing the bum. You really wanna get the hamstrings and the glute maximus working here. 10 seconds to go, and then you're having a rest for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Get ready for your next ski squat. The turnaround is quite quick here, just do your up and down the floor. Three seconds, two, one, let's go. You're holding that ski squat. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, one arm. You've got 10 seconds left. Perfect, Trini. And then you're back into glute bridges. Now, stop with that one. Lying down on the mat. So we go from the front of the leg to the back of the leg. Let's go little pulses, 20 seconds. Really tucking in. So you don't wanna have this um, lower back arch. You wanna tuck in, really squeeze the butt. Doesn't matter how high you lift, just focus on bringing the pelvis towards the belly button. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, rest for 10. Back against all this is the last time you're doing it. So now's the time to add weight if you want to. You've got three seconds. You're going in two, one, let's go. 
So you lift and lower. Good. Halfway. Last time you're doing this, and then you've got the glute bridge for the last time. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Stop there. Come over to your mat. Lie down. Last time. And we go. A little lift. Lift. Nice. And again, just to remind you, working those hamstrings and the glutes is fantastic because whenever we're walking around, we're used, mostly using those quads, especially if you have a desk job hip flexors are getting shorter, it's going to make you even more quick quad dominant because you're pulling more with those legs. You've got three seconds, two, one, stop. Have a little rest. Give the knees a hug. And you can stand up, do some leg swings just to release those hips. You can press that hip capsule. Good. Nice deep breath. And then we're going into another round of Tabata. Okay, so there's another twist here, Trini. Yeah. That Tabata that we, all of the Tabatas, you're going to do them all over again. Of course we bloody well are. <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> with the ab exercises. Got to really fatigue those muscles. Um, there's no better way to start your Monday. No better way. Okay, I can't remember how we started. Okay, abs. Lying down, we started with bicycle crunches for 20 seconds, partial crunches for 20 seconds. Okay. Okay, let's get those abs on fire. Three, two, one, lift your chest, you rotate from side to side. This time around, you know what it's all about. You've created that muscle memory, if you like. So now you can really challenge yourself. If you didn't do the, the springy mountain climbers, you can do those. Maybe you wanna go on part of that bicycle. You've got three, two, one, stop. Rest for a couple of seconds. Getting ready to go with those partial crunches. Now, lift the chest and lower. Lift and lower. If you want to make this one more difficult, you lift and hold. Go for little pulses up, but that pulse comes from your stomach, not from just pulling or nodding your head. You really feel those muscles contracting. Three, two, one, stop, rest for 10 seconds. And then we're back to those bicycles in three, two, one, let's go, lift the chest, lift those legs, and rotate side to side. Try not to bring the knees towards the torso. You focus on lifting and twisting that upper body. Get the side of the stomach working as much as possible. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one, stop for rest for a few seconds. Okay, getting ready to go into partial crunches. In four, three, Two, lift, let's go. So you can lift and lower or pulse. So those muscles are going to tiny little contractions. They stay in that contraction, really work hard. Five seconds, belly button drawn down. Two, one, rest for 10. 10 seconds, have a breather, and then we're into bicycles. In three, two, one, let's go. Focus on lifting that upper body. Round two should feel a little more difficult. You've already fatigued these muscles. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, 10 seconds recovery. And then partial crunches and we'll be into the last minute of this Tabata. Let's go, lift that chest and lower. Lift, lower, elbows nice and wide. Or you can lift, go for little pulses up to make it more difficult. Draw the belly button down. Five seconds, three, two, 
one rest for 10 seconds. You're coming into your last minute of this Tabata. In three seconds, we go into bicycles. In two, in one. Let's go, Trini. Lift that chest, elbows nice and wide. You get that twist in, working the side of the stomach. Perfect, breathe, inhale, center, exhale, rotate. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest for 10, then you're into your last 20 seconds of this ab Tabata. <clears throat> In three, two, let's go. You can lift and go for the little pulses, really challenge yourself. Last 20 seconds that you're going to be doing this. There's no more surprises after this. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going for five, for three, two, one, stopped. Little rest. 40 seconds in total, that's it. Have it, you can ease off that back, do a little rotation, little chest opener. Stand up, grab a sip of water. You're going to be going into your plie with the punches in 20, well, in 15 seconds time now. So if you need a drink, grab one now. Okay, let's do this, Trini. Round two, nice wide stance, toes turned out. You sink down towards the ground, push the knees out, squeeze the bum, and punch, rotating the body. Nice strong punches, shoulders are down. Use those back muscles as well to bring the arm back in. A little bit of cardio, a little bit of endurance too. Perfect. You've got five seconds and then you're into that mountain climber variation. Two, one, stop. Hands down on the ground. You can lift those knees, come into your high plank and we're gonna lift one knee, lift the other knee. If you wanna make it more difficult, you hop from side to side. Good. Protracting the back so the uh, shoulder blades are flush to the back of the ribs. Deep breaths. Over halfway through this. Three, two, one. Stop. Have a little rest. Deep breaths, roll those shoulders back, and let's go into that plie, punching those arms, low impact cardio, meaning you're getting that heart rate up, but there's not too much pressure on the joints. <clears throat> 10 seconds, doing fantastically, let's go for it, Jimmy. you've got five, three, two, one, stop. Roll those shoulders back. And we're into mountain climbers, hands down, knees lifted. Bring one knee up, then the other. We'll come into that little jogging version. That's really gonna get the heart rate up again. It's still pretty low impact. Challenges the upper body. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stop there. Okay, we're halfway through this one. We're going into that plie hold with the punches. That is happening now. You can slow it down if you want to. If you don't want to work the arms, you can hold the hands in front of the chest. Or you're really going for it. You're also encouraging that mobility through the spine, which is great. Knees pushed out, squeeze the bum, and stop, step in, roll those shoulders back. You just got a couple more of these mountain climbers. Let's go, hands down. Really going for it. Lift, you can go into that low impact version. Lift one leg, lift the other leg. Build up your cardio if you're not used to doing cardio. Build up slowly. Three, two, one, stop. Have a little rest. Last two exercises in this Tabata. We've got one more. 
plie and punch. Going in two, in one, let's go. Nice deep breaths. So if you're beginning to feel half out, maximize on that lung capacity. You're really taking as much oxygen as possible. Three, two, one, stop. Roll those shoulders back, shake off the legs. You're getting ready to go to a last mountain climber. In two seconds, in one, let's go. Last time, push yourself if you can. It's the last time you're doing this today. Plus you're getting a rest after this. 20 seconds. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, stop. <sighs> Breather. Roll those shoulders back, get some fresh air if you need to. Have some water. You've still got another 15 seconds of recovery. Really important to take that recovery so you let those muscles uh, replenish with a little bit of fuel, a little bit of glycogen. And now we're going to work those triceps. So we're taking the piece down and we're doing some pure strength. So you need your chair for this one or your sofa. Okay, 20 seconds starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Hands are next to your hips, shoulders are set back and down, and you're going to lower and push. Just using the muscles of the backs of the arms. So really small muscle groups, so it's quite easy to fatigue. Three, two, one, stop there. You can take a seat on the chair, shake off those wrists, roll them around a couple of times. Push up to the next in three seconds time. Let's go. We're gonna lower, quickly lift the arms, and then push. You're opening the chest. Elbows are either tucked in towards your torso or you're going for a wide grip. Three seconds, two, one, stop. Have a nice rest for 10 seconds. <clears throat> Little breather, roll those wrists around. And let's go with those tricep dips. Elbows tucked into the side. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Really working on those arms. Keeping those arms nice and strong. Three, two, one, stop. Take it off. <clears throat> In five seconds, you're going into the push ups. We're nearly done with this upper body series. And then you've just got one more Tabata. Okay, let's go, Trini. Push up to lower and push. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Okay. Nice, Trini. Let's do this for one more push up. That's it, and push rest. Okay. <clears throat> Roll those wrists around. We're back. We're back to the tricep dips. <clears throat> Going in three, two, one. The dirt. Just Let's soup go. in the evening. <sighs> Somebody else. I've got a frozen shoulder. And can't, I will, don't do the push-ups if you've got a frozen shoulder. In the evening. You can hold two weights and then do tricep extensions like this. One more, Trini. Stop there. Shake off those wrists. And then you've got one more round of the push-ups. And then we're moving on to the upper body. <clears throat> Okay, last round. <clears throat> this is the best round. Let's go. Push-ups, 20 seconds. 
Good. Lower. Quickly lift the arms and push. We're on to lower body after this, and then it's stretching and serenity. Oh. You've got one more push up, one more, and stop. Rest for a few seconds. This is a tough workout. Yeah. It's start, starting Monday off with a bang. Shake off those rests. Roll the shoulders back a couple of times. Have a sip of water if you need. We're going to go into the squat in three, two, one. Back against the wall. Sink down 90 degrees at the knees and hips. You can do the arm movement or you can keep the hands in front of the chest. Bit of endurance. Really good for strengthening the muscles around the knee, this one. Three seconds. Two, one, stop. Come down to your mat. Toes turned up to the sky, heels are hip. Go for little pulses up. Little movements, but intense. You're really squeezing the hamstrings, so the muscles through the, uh, the back of the thigh, and you're squeezing your glutes maximus. You've got three more. Two, one, stop. Turn over, push yourself up. We're back to the speed squat. In three seconds time. Let's go. This one's a quick turnaround. 20 second hold. Feet are parallel, so not turned out completely straight. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Push ups. Oh, sorry, not push ups. <laughs> We've done enough of those. Pulses, good. Little pulses up. Good. Halfway, 10 seconds to go. Good, keep tucking in. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and roll down. We're coming to the last, we're halfway through this last Tabata. You've got 20 seconds. Let's go, holding that ski squat. Nice deep breaths. 10 seconds to go. Five. Holding for three, two, one, stop. 10 seconds rest. Then we're down into those glute bridge pulses. Let's go. Little pulses up. And again, focus on tucking in the hips, squeezing that back, little pulses. Amazing. You've got 10 seconds. And then you're into your final minute. And then it's all stretching. Three, two, one, stop. Last round. Ski squat, 20 seconds. That's it, fantastic. Keeping those hips tucked, back, flush. Good. 10 seconds, that is all. Come on ladies, we're nearly there. So nearly there, so you're in the and stop, you've got to get down onto that mat. You're going to your last exercise of the day. And pulse, let's go, little pulses. Little pulse, everyone's commenting on how strong you are, Trini. I'm a, I, you've, li you've really crushed this workout today. Not an easy one at all. Five seconds, three, two, one, stop. It is over. It is time to stretch. You can stay in the Hello, there. fucking Nulia! <laughs> I mean, I gave it my all, but my God, my body is dead. Can I tell you this morning, Natty, I woke up and I took 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C, three limitless, which is that sort of brain power food from Victoria Health, and three magnolia radioli for mood postmodal mm -hmm. moment. But it's a good cocktail. It and is it the apple cider vinegar sugar-free gummy bears? 
You just need to add some motion nutrition uh, creatine in there, and then you'll be really bouncing off the walls. Motion what? The creatine. It gives you a natural energy boost. It's like a really, power. really feel a difference. Like you're like, ooh, which one? Really the power. It's it's called it's brain and body creatine. It's the one that you have when you're going to work out. So okay, good. Anything. Is it? It's not the one which is. Is it by by motion? It's by motion, yeah. And it is increases it called, your. Imagine, is it called power? No, the power up one is for your cognition. It does give you an energy boost. This one okay, is actually. Well, the... Tell me afterwards. Will you leave it as a comment? Yes, I will leave a comment. Right, Trini, you're gonna get. You can either get your band. Did I see you had a long band there? Yeah, I have a band. Or if you've got a Pilates ring. Or you can use a towel or your um, hands. You're going to lie down, we're going to get stretching those hamstrings. Oh. So place your right foot in the band and extend the leg up to the sky. You can bend and extend the leg. Nice deep breaths. Time to relax now, time to tap into that parasympathetic nervous system and calm the whole body. Now is when you get those endorphins and dopamine. You're gonna extend and hold that leg straight. Take hold of the band in with your left hand and pull, it, pull the leg slightly across the body towards your left shoulder. That's gonna get the outside of the hamstrings and the ITB and a, a little bit. Relaxing as much as you can. Hold on for three, two, and one. Back to the center. Switch legs, so your left foot is gonna go into the ring or the band, and your right leg is along the ground. Deep breath in to bend the knee, and exhale to extend the leg. You may now, have- I'm wondering, how much are Pilates rings? Oh, really? You, this one it was fifteen pounds, I think. And it's because I wonder, pounds. for those committed people, mm. once a week we could do a Pilates ring exercise class. Good. These are great. This I love. This it's from Core Balance. I got it on Amazon, but you can get it directly from their website. And they do the little balls. They do the Swiss balls. They do, they do the resist the little loop bands. Um, and I actually really like the quality of this Pilates ring. Well, I wonder if we do that. How many people would like to do, well, we'll wait till afterwards. When we finish, let's ask. Yes. You're going to okay. extend that leg straight. Keep hold of the, uh, the band in your right hand and pull the leg slightly across towards your right shoulder. Good. Nice deep breaths. Holding for another five. Hold for three, two, and one. Come back to the center. We're going to go into a little rotation now. We're going to take your foot out of the band. Bring your arms into 90 degrees with your palms turned up to the sky. So you're opening up the chest. Legs are bent. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Lift your legs towards your torso and lower them to the right. Look to your left. Then you can place your right hand on the outside of your left leg. And press and make sure you're trying to push that left arm down towards the ground. So you get a really nice rotation through the spine, but also chest opening. Deep breath in and exhale. You're going to lift those legs, uncross the legs, cross your right leg over your left leg, lift your legs up a little bit, lower them to the left, look to your right. And relax into this stretch. And if you did join us, you should, um, and Trini, you should feel really proud of yourself for that workout because that was not easy at no, all. No, that was not easy. That was not easy. And you but did. It's been really energizing. I, mean, I don't know how exhausted I'm going to feel for the rest of the day or whether it will energize me. Sometimes I feel exhausted by exercise, sometimes I feel like a Energized, yes. Well, if you support your body, nutritionally all day, drink lots of water, so you get the right nutrients in, yeah. hopefully you'll keep those energy levels. 
and sleep well tonight. Back to the centre, uncross the legs. You're going to have a big stretch, reach your arms above your head, and I want you to take a really deep breath in, because you're encouraging that diaphragm, and you're encouraging those lungs to really expand, maximise on that lung capacity, and then exhale, bring the arms down, bend your knees again, you're going to turn it over. Push yourself up. Let's go into a cat dog stretch. Flexing and extending the spine. Down to your neutral spine. You're going to bring your right foot forward. So keep your left knee down. Hips tucked in. Reach your left arm up. We go to your hip flexor stretch. So you have your right foot forward. So you're upright. Flip. Big reach and lean. You can rotate the body a little bit as well. Take hold of the wrist and pull that. And now we're here for another five seconds. Three, two, one. Back to the centre. Right knee down, left foot forward. Hips tucked, right glute engaged. Right arm reaches and you lean. You can take hold of the wrist, rotate. Back to the centre. Come up onto your feet. Take a deep breath in. You're going to start to stack up. Reach those arms up to the sky. I want you to come up onto your toes. Squeeze your bum so you're rising tall. Then bring the arms down. You're going to nod the head. Soften the knees. Roll down, shrug off those shoulders, shake off the head, rock from side to side. Come back to the centre, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to slowly begin to stack up. Roll the shoulders back, set them down, and get ready for a fantastic Monday. We really rocked it, Nat. That was yeah. just profoundly hard, but so good. I mean, such a great way to start the week. hundred um, percent. And, yeah. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you very much.